G'day everyone, this is Jason from OBDX Pro and today we're going to be demonstrating writing a new tune using PCM Hammer with an OBDX Pro VT cable. So it's a matter of just opening up your PCM Hammer application, which we go through how to get in our initial video for reading. Uh, make sure you've selected your COM port and the device, press OK to initialize the OBDX Pro VT device. Once we're done, we then need to actually select our file for writing. So for doing that, this is after we've made edits, we've made sure we used a suitable XDF um, that's got the correct checksums. Um, since it's very important not to use a corrupted checksum file as that can result in bricking an ECU. We go ahead, we're gonna click write calibration, read our message here, making sure that we understand the risk that we're taking when, uh, when proceeding. So we're gonna say yes. We're now gonna choose a file that I've already had done. So with, it's the uh, ECU with that's off. Go ahead and click open. Asking if we've been on for 10 seconds. We most certainly have, so we can press continue. It then detects the file, processes it. Make sure we've got good checksums. Uploads the custom kernel for writing. Checks what areas we need to actually edit and it's now start to erase and write that section. And if you notice there, having a look at it, the only section that's getting edited is the calibration since it's the only uh, area that we have um, actually edited and need changed. So it usually takes around 40-ish seconds in total for it to do its entire procedure and also do its checks afterwards to make sure it's been written correctly. Um, which isn't too long to, to wait for. That's a matter of make sure we don't touch anything, make sure you've got a strong power supply so that we don't have any problems, otherwise it can result in corrupted memory. And there we have it. That's it all done. It's verified, it's correct. It's clear trouble codes and records it took about 43 seconds. So that's it, that's all that's needed. It's now ready to be disconnected and pop back in the car. Uh, for any questions, please feel free to post below. Otherwise, we'll speak soon.